one of the things I, I do here is actually put people back onto the primary resources so they can actually re-evaluate some of the myths and misconceptions of Australian football history. In the 19th century, it is so easily forgotten, but it is also one of those periods where a lot of what we take for granted in Australian rules developed, such as the hand pass, the types of kicks, the positions on the field, all those sort of things. Even, as, even things like the league ladder, why are there four points for a win and two points for a draw, why is it two points for a win and one point for a draw? So they all have their genesis in the 19th century, and that's what I find interesting. Also, it's that period where Australian rules forged its unique identity away from the, um, the English codes from which it descended. One of the good things about working at the library is that it is one of the, one of the best um, sporting collections in the world, definitely one of the best for Australian football. And I do have a great understanding of what's in the collection, and so if I'd like to do a little bit of my own research after hours, I know exactly what I'm looking for and I have the time to do it and uh, so that, that's, that's probably the perk.